thank you. 172. <coughs>
you've come for something that there's a place you can get whatever you need tonight I believe I don't care who you are I don't care where you come from I believe that everybody in this church tonight needs something from God including myself I, I've been excited all day I, I just think I thought Lord uh, God's been blessing me so good today I can't hardly stand it amen uh, we started to leave home this evening and I told them I said you better hurry and get ready and I said, if you want to see, you better be getting ready because we've got to get to church. Amen. And I, I, I just seem to stand. I'll stand up here against the wall if anybody needs this seat up here. But I don't know what you come for, but I know God's in this place, and I, I thank God for that. There's two verses of Scripture come to my mind this evening. I'm going to try my best not to preach. I didn't come to preach. There's preachers sitting all over this house. Um, I, I, and I pray to God that everybody in this church will mind the Spirit of God tonight. And if you need to pray, you come pray. If you need to shout, you go ahead and shout. Because I'm pretty sure it won't bother nobody. Uh, and, and whatever God says to you, do that you do. And if you're here tonight and you're lost without God and you want to be saved, this would be a real good place. Yes. Just to get ready to leave this old world. Amen. Come and give your life to Jesus. Amen. The best part about it is He's never throwed nobody away. If you're not saved tonight, it's not God's fault. If you're not where you need to be tonight, it's not God's fault. Bless you. Is anything available? It's up. Well, I got two verses of Scripture I want to read, and then I'm going to just touch. Uh, we'll call the house for prayer, and I know everybody's got prayers on their heart, but I, you know, I didn't come. I, I'm going to be honest with you tonight, Brother Anthony. I didn't come to church to pray. You see, I prayed. I, I've been a prayer. I done prayed about this thing. Amen. You know what I've done, Thomas? I've prayed about all my lost people. Done prayed about it. Done ask God to touch it. You know what I come for tonight to see God move. I done prayed and I come looking for the answer. Amen. And I believe if you'll mind the Spirit of God tonight, you can find the answer. For whatever you need, I promise you God will take care of it. And I'm here to tell you tonight that you've never been too mean, too ungodly, too far down that God would throw you away. Amen. Now, 
I, I, shoot, I thought about this for I'm going to try my best not to preach. My, my hair is just running every which way. You pray this minute. If you will, I want to turn to Romans 5. Amen. I want to read one verse of Scripture, very familiar Scripture. Come to my mind this evening and I want to go over to the book of John. I want to read one verse out of that, Brother Greg. I'm, I thank God, brother, that I'm saved tonight. And I thought about, praise God, that uh, people think we're crazy, amen, anyway. But that's okay. According to the Word of God, Brother Tim, we're peculiar people. We don't look like everybody else. We don't do things like everybody else. And praise God, I'm glad we don't. Hey Amen. Now listen, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best just to read this and get out of your way. And I'm going to turn it over to these youngins. We'll have prayer. And then I'm going to just turn it over to these youngins. We're going to have church and let God move and let God have His way. Amen. Because uh, God knows what we need. But I thought about it, brother. I thought about what I am. And I told them Sunday, I know what I am. I'm, I'm nothing, amen. But God's everything. Amen. I'm just an old sinner saved by the grace of God. I ain't worth nothing, amen. Never been worth nothing. But I'm here to tell you tonight that I look around this church, amen, and I see all kinds of people. Amen. But we got one thing in common, every one of us. Amen. We everybody that's sitting here saved by the grace of God. And if you're not saved, amen, you've been broken by sin. Amen. Every one of us. I told them that we had a church full of misfits, Brother Dennis. Amen. You know what a misfit is? It's something that's been broken and nobody can find no use for. Amen. You say, I've been broken by sin, thrown away by man, but I thank God that Jesus found me one day and fixed me. Amen. Glory to God. I'm glad for that. Thank God for this scripture. The Bible said in Romans 5, Verse 8, he said, But God commendeth His love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen? That ought to be enough right there to put you on shouting. Right? Woo! But you didn't have to be righteous, and you didn't have... I kept telling my wife before I ever started going to church, Amen. Praise be unto God. I tell him Sunday, Dennis, about an old preacher that, Amen, that got all timers and he couldn't remember his name, he couldn't remember his family. But praise God that day at the firehouse when Dennis Blevins walked by, that old man grabbed me by the hand and he said, Preacher, I want you to help me pray for that boy. You see, that prayer might have been the one that got you a place to get saved. But ain't you glad tonight God made you a place? Amen. Ain't you glad that He died for you? Amen. I'll read this. I'm going to try my best to us. Hey, hey, the preacher's still here not teaching. Come on, 15th chapter, book of John, the 16th verse. I want you to listen. How good God is to me. How good He is, brother. How good He is, Trey. <laughs> People in this world might not find any good in you, might not find any use for you, but I know a God that's got a place for you. He sees something special in you. Amen? Go ahead, preacher. He sees something special in us that nobody else can see. When we look upon one another, we look upon the outward appearance and we don't know what the inside is. Amen. But God does. Sister, when He looked way down out of the corridors of heaven and He saw you, a lost lamb of Israel, praise God, I believe He told the whole heaven, He said, that young has got some good in her. I believe I'll take her and use her for my glory. Amen. I believe I'll pick her and call her name. Come on, brother. Praise God, church, we ought to realize just what God done for us. He didn't have to, but He looked down into an evil society and a wicked and adulterous generation and He saw all those people and He called our name. Woo! I ought to get you fired up. Amen. I'll say this before I read this to you. Bless you. 
what was I used to drink and party with? They thought I was going to die before I ever got right with God. Something bad's going to happen. And it would happen. Thank God the best thing that I've ever known happened to me. And one of them told me, he said, I'm glad that you found the Lord. He said, you wasn't going to make it much longer. And I said, hold on. First of all, I want to tell you people something. I didn't find God. Go ahead. If you're here tonight and you're saved, you didn't find God. God was never lost. He's ever present and never absent. You know what happened? God come looking for you. He sent the Lamb of God to search out the corridors of this world and the Spirit of God and sought you out. The Bible said He came to seek and to save that which was lost. He said, what well, night, Brother Tim? Looking for me in the broad patches of hell. Glory to God. That's what he said. Listen, I'm gonna, we'll pray. We're going to have church. 15th chapter, book of John, 16th verse. He says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. Now listen, that whatsoever ye ask of the Father in my name, He may give it to you. Child of God, do you know why God's been a dealing with you to get right with God? You know why He's been a, hey man, a dealing with you and a touch in your heart to get you close to Him? It's so that you can ask Him, amen, and He can give it to you. Can I get it? Come on now. Praise God. God don't answer. Hey, man, listen. You you can live like hell if you want to, but I won't live close enough that when I pray, God hears me. Hey, man. Come on. I'm going to do things a little odd. I'm a little odd anyway. I wonder if there'd be somebody in this church tonight that's got a need. Hey, hey man, you can feel God. You felt Him all night. If you've got a need tonight, would you raise your hand? Hey man, brother. All over the house, needs all over the house. Hey man, come on. Praise God, let me tell you something. I know it's crowded tonight. I know it is. But we're going to go to the Lord and pray. And tonight, if you need this altar, why would you wait? Why would you wait? If I can't be taken care of where you're at tonight, why don't you come on down? Say, it's crowded, preacher. My God, we'll move. Amen. You don't have no problem with that, do you? Hey, listen, we'll make a way for you to pray tonight. You see, I come to have revival, Brother Greg. I prayed all day. Saw God's face all day. Been out early this morning. Amen. We're going to have church. We're going to get Brother Buck to lead us to the Lord in prayer. I know it's crowded. Everybody pray your own prayer. And tonight, if you're seeking something from God, and when God opens heaven for you, you come and get it. Don't you wait on nobody else. You come and get it. Amen. Now listen to me. If you're here tonight and you're lost and God speaks to your heart, don't you wait till next week or tomorrow night. Because tonight may be the last night. Say, this is the oddest thing I've ever been in anyway. A January revival. I ain't never heard about one either, but this is what God said. So I believe God set this thing up for somebody. Amen. And I believe somebody's here tonight. That you need. My heart's just a flood. And I, I, I about worried Mitchell to death. I couldn't wait to get started. <laughs> but would you lead us to the Lord in prayer? Please. The most kind and gracious Lord, Father, tonight I ask you, God, that you'd open heaven. God, that you'd turn it loose, Lord, here upon us. And God, you'd supply every need. And God, we know, Father, that you chose us. God, we know that you can pick this group of people for your glory. And I pray, God, tonight that something might happen to give glory in your name. God, I ask you, Father, to touch, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, we praise you, Lord. God, I ask you now tonight that you'd have your way. And we give you praise and honor. And I pray tonight, God,
God you'd open heaven and you'd supply every need that's in this house tonight. For we all stand in need of something. God, we're all hungry. We're thirsty, God, for the things of heaven. Lord bless in the name of Jesus. God, I just thank the Lord for what you're doing for me, God. God, I thank the Lord for speaking to you, Lord, and allowing me to be your life, God, for the cause of Christ. God, I just thank the Lord for what you're doing for me, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, give us that and we're in need of tonight. Yes. Touch the man that stands tonight. In the name of Jesus. Touch his heart tonight, God. Touch the heart of the lost tonight, Lord. Be with us, Lee. God, your efforts in your blessed holy name. Amen. 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 All right. Don't mind the Spirit of God. Stephanie, you want to stay on the table. You don't want to. You show. Huh? All right, who's going to sing? You might as well come on and start this thing. Come on. You know you ain't been over here yet that you got by without singing. <laughs> then these young, I want you to mind the Spirit of God. If you got a song in your heart, you mind the Spirit of God tonight. You see, the preachers ain't the ones that hold the key to this thing. Everybody's got a key. <laughs> you pray. Listen to what God's got to say. <coughs> Bless the Lord. Mind the Spirit of God, bro. Bless them all. I thank the Lord for another opportunity to be in this house. Come on, get on up, Lord. One more time to be here. Amen. It's a revival for me just sitting and listening to everybody sing. Amen. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless him, Lord. God said, have, have, have revival now. Someone might not make it. He'll warm weather. Right. Right. Oh, God. Come on, bro. Yeah. Bless you, Lord. Bless you,
my Jesus, be who saved my soul. Oh, I'm a child of the King. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm a child of the King. Yes, I am, and I know I am. I belong to the Lord. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm a child of the King. Yes, I am. Said I'm a child of the King. Yes, I am. Thank you, Jesus. Last song on your heart. I'm the Spirit of God. When I fall, my eyes in bed, hold my hand across my chest for this church I have prayed. In his arms, I'm not afraid, not afraid to be this world behind. Not afraid to close my eyes and die for this church I have prayed. In his arms, I'm not afraid. When I cross that silent street, where the whole my back and me feel no pain, are safe, safe, secure in Jesus' arms. Not afraid to bid this world goodbye. Not afraid to close my eyes and die. For this earth which I have prayed in his arms, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to bid this world goodbye. Not afraid to close my eyes and die. For this earth which I have prayed in his arms, I'm not afraid. Amen. Amen.
He said, I'll go with you all the way to the end of this place. Come on. Praise God, he'll be there. He'll be there. He'll be there. Got your Bible some eyes. Man, I tell you, I've studied this all day and I could not get it out of my mind. Could not get it out of my mind. Psalms 138. That's a psalm of David. Hold on. Bless you, Lord. Touch it, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Touch it, Lord. Breathe on it. Breathe on it. Found your place. Yeah, touch it, Jesus. Psalms 138. David said, I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward the holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. And for thou hast magnified thy word above thy name. Yeah. In the day when I tried, thou answered me yes, and strengthened me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord. For great is thy glory of the Lord. Amen. Who the Lord, Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. For oh, I walk in the midst of trouble. I will revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thy hand and against the wrath of my enemies. And thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. And thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the words of thy own hands. May God have his blessings on the reading of the word tonight. And I will all expound on some things that I in verse 7. It says, Though I walk through the midst of trouble, Thou wilt revive me, revive me, that I shall stretch forth thy hand against the wrath of my enemies. Yeah. And thy right hand shall save me. David said, he said, when I come into the house of God, he said, I'll, he said, I'll praise thee with my whole heart. And man, I'll tell you this day and hour that you and I are living in, that's why we can't get no blessings of God. I really believe that when we come into the house of God, we ought to give it all we got. When we yeah. come in. Yeah. I, well, I'll tell you one thing, Brother Toby, I, I believe it with all my heart, Brother Mitchell. I, they're coming in half-hearted. Oh, I'll tell you what, God don't want no half-hearted. Praise God, He wants your whole heart. I really don't want none at all. He said, when I come into the house of God, I, he said, I'll praise thee. I, well, 
with my whole heart Amen. and said, I'll lift up my hands. Praise God and I'll praise Amen. you. Praise God if you want to rejoice Amen. in the Lord. you got to lift your hands up. you got to praise Him. Praise God, you got to know how to show God. He said, when I go down to the temple of a holy temple, Christ God bless him. You know, a lot of people say, well, you can serve God just anywhere. But I'll tell you what, there's something different when you get down into the church yeah. house. You can't serve God the same way down there at Walmart. I know. The Bible said we're two or three gathered together in my name. I'll be in the midst. That's true. Yeah. But praise God. I've got more when I was at the church house than anywhere. Yeah. God will touch you when you get in the house of God. Touch you, Lord. Praise God. He said, when I get down to the temple, when you get down to the holy place, and I'm thinking over there in Psalms 85 and 6 today. It said, well, will thou not revive us again that thy people may rejoice in thee? Praise God, we need a revival to shake this land. We need a revival to stir the foundation of where we stand. We need a revival. Not down here, praise God, that needs it in the White House too late. We need the power to sweep the whole land. Boy, I tell you, the power of God, He said, God can do anything that he wants to do. Yeah. Amen. I tell you, we need to shake the foundation of this county and over where we go. The Bible said, Greater he that's in us than he that's in the world. And that's the Holy Spirit of God living within us. Praise God, we ought to let our light shine wherever we go. Where people can see Christ in us. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Boy, I tell you, I've been sitting on the sidelines long enough. I've been bound down. It's sitting down on the sidelines. The Lord, I want to stand up. Lord, I want to say something for you. Praise God, I'm going to give you the night. I'm going to give you the night. I'm going to give you the night. Go ahead. Praise God, I'm going to give you the night. When I come in them doors, I feel the power of God. Oh, I tell you, there ain't nothing I feel the power of God. Praise God when you're going down the highway. Praise God, lift your hands up and say, Lord, I thank you that you woke me up this morning. Lord, I thank you. Praise God, you left me. I go by that accident. Lord, I thank you that you told me to stop. A five mile down the road. I cried to be on that accident. Amen. Go. I've seen it. I've seen it. Praise God, His hand is not too short that it can't reach down. Praise God, I'm glad He can reach further down than I can reach up. Praise God, if you feel like you're down in the valley, you don't have to stay down in the valley. You don't have to stay there. Praise God, you asked Him for help and He's there. He's ever there and every time to present help in the time of need. Yeah, I'm out right. work that little wrong, but I'll tell you, He's always there. Uh, if you call us home. Amen. Praise God, it ain't, it ain't God leaving us. It's us living God. Come on, It's us living God. Yeah, come on, preacher. Let him play. It ain't God leaving us. You'll find out when you when you get back to the place you ought to be with God, you'll find him exactly where you're left. You'll find him exactly where you left. I think of the words of D.L. Moody said one time, and I heard it say of a tape one time. When I, when I pray, I talk to God. But when I when God talks to me, praise God, He talks to me through this book. Praise God, I'm glad He talks to me through the book. He said, I'll magnify thy word above thy name. 
dream. Praise God, His word will stand when nothing else will stand. His word will stand up on the very end. His word will stand. I don't care how many how many Bibles they write. Praise God, listen. They have one book. Praise God, and if you're going to judge us all, praise God, I'm glad. I've got a King James Version that I'm going to stick by. It saved my soul. Praise God, He gave me the words to say. Yeah, then I stand up to speak. Yes, it does. Yes, Praise God. The Bible said over there in the first chapter of John, it says, In the beginning, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was God. Same was in the beginning was God. Go down there a little further. It said, And the Word became flesh. And we went, and we beheld His glory. I only got another Father full of grace and truth. Amen. Can I stay? The Word of God will stand. The Bible said, Let the Word of God be truth and never man a liar. That's what it says. Let the Word of God stand. And I'll tell you, in the fight your battles too. And I'll tell you, David said, when I'm backed up, and I'm backed up into the corner, and the enemies is coming after me. Oh, I'll tell you, when you're backed up in the corner, and all the demons in hell and everything that got you backed up, God, let me tell you something. I don't let man get you down. Man, to get you down, you feel like you're Lord of Snake's belly. Come on. Don't let him do that. He said the Lord will fight my battle. Yeah, amen. 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 Yes, He did. The Lord will fight your battle. <laughs> He says, in your conversation, you be with, he said, in your conversation, be without covetous. The thing you got to pretend of that that you have. For he has said, said, I'll never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Right, brother, he said, so you can say boldly, the Lord is my helper, and I shall appear of uh, what man shall do unto me. Praise God when you're down in the corner and you feel like you ain't no way to turn. Praise God, the best thing to do is get down on your hands and your knees and say, Lord, here I am. I'm at a spot. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. But Lord, can you help me? Praise God, you put words in your mouth when you ain't got no words to say. Praise God, when you stand before the enemy. Praise God, he'll be there with you. He'll be your lawyer. He'll be your doctor. Praise God, yeah. the one that you got to be. Whatever you need, amen. He'll be there. Glory to God, I'm glad that He will be there. Whatever you need, it's in this book. Whatever you need. Praise God, if you need a healing, He's there to heal you. The Bible says you must believe that He is and He's a rewarder to them that believe you seek Him. Praise God, you got to believe it. You got to believe it. There many of them don't get blessings, I believe, because they don't believe. Because they don't believe. When the, when the little King David, when he was facing that battle of the Philistines, when he said that they're Superman of the Philistine army, I'm going to say, Goliath, when he was facing that giant, oh, I tell you what, they thought David was awful little to face that man called Goliath. But you know what? He knows that the Lord was on his side. He knows that the Lord was on his side. David said, is there not a cause? That's what he said. Is there not a cause? He said, he's got the armor on him and gone down to the valley. Praise God, and he had that armor on. Praise God, David didn't need that armor. It just fell on him. I could see it. I thought he was too big for him. But all he needed was the stones and a string. He said, You come to me. He said, I come to you in the Lord of hosts. Praise God, he comes with a shield and sword. But he said, I come to you with the Lord of hosts. And he didn't need but one stone to kill that big Philistine. Amen. All he needs. All he needs. God can fight every battle that you ever face. He can fight. Man, I'll tell you, God just, God just throwing stuff in my mind. I can't hardly tackle it, Brother David. It's a running through my mind. I can't hardly spit it out. And I thank God for that. I thank God for that. 
Out of the 42 kings in the Bible, the kings of Israel, there was 42 kings in the Bible. And only nine righteous out of the 42. And one of them was Hezekiah. Hezekiah was facing a great battle one time over there in 2 Kings chapter 19. I believe it is. Everything was coming about. If you look at it with the physical eye, you'll see the armory of Israel. They would be defeated. They would be defeated. Oh, what you see with your eyes. But you know what? That man of God, he started a praying. Praying to God. Praise God. It only took one angel. One angel to go on that Syrian army. As he looked over the camp the next morning. Hallelujah. There was 185,000 dead people laying on the ground. Boy, I tell you, Hezekiah knows that God. God would fight his battles. Amen. God would fight his battles. Wherever he went. But as much as God has said it, man, I think of that song. That was one of my mama's favorite songs. Oh, I'd like to hear her sing it again. I can hear this note. If God is in it, hallelujah. She's a walking down the street. I believe it, brother. But right there, she might see my mama Mary up there. Hallelujah. Praise God, I've got a daddy up there. Boy, I tell you, there's a sin in that song. Boy, I sing it in my life. Boy, I wish daddy was here. Boy, praise God. He might be a looking like. Praise God! What do we know? Amen. Hallelujah! I get home. I get home sick. Amen. Praise God! I get home sick, brother Jack. Ready to go? Boy, I take you home. I need more people to stand up and preach. Just like it is. Oh, it won't hurt my feelings a bit if you holler at me. It won't hurt my feelings a bit if you holler at me. Boy, I tell you, if we can't preach it down, somebody can say it down. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. I like to feel the Spirit of God come over. Amen. 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 Feel His As David said, that He can feel His presence. They love and like his touch. That's right. They love and like his touch. I have a hunger and a thirst just to feel his touch. Oh, just to feel his touch. Hallelujah. Oh, God. I may have said this many times before, but I'll say it again. I haven't been preaching too long. Now I'll tell you, I was coming out of, I guess, only one morning right before daylight. Right on 18th of winter. Brother Josh, and I'll never forget. Man, the devil's a fighting me. Man, I'll tell you, I was down and down with everything. I was just all for it. Lord of God, and I got down there on 85, fixing to get on in the space and this thing. The sun was coming up from the Lord. The sun was coming up. And I said, Lord, I took all I could take. I can't take it no more. Sometimes when you get bound down, that Christ God, when you let me tell you something, when you get down and you start trying and you feel feel very low, that's when you when God, you know, tears will touch the heart of God. When you get in business, tears will touch the heart of God. Boy, I tell you, when you touch the heart of God, you'll move the hand of God in man. Praise God, and I'll never forget it. That hand reached down out of the clouds well I said covered the truck over the whole hood they grabbed my chest well I'll tell you what I lost gravitation and I went from there there from Charlotte to North Carolina to Mooresville on exit 36 some more I come to my senses well I tell you I couldn't tell you nothing brother John I couldn't tell you a thing from the jury but I know I can tell you that God was a driver of that truck. Amen. I believe that. God was driving that truck. Boy, I tell you. Yeah. You can you lose gravitation. You don't even know where you're at. I thank God for that. I thank God for that. 
I couldn't even feel my way coming up through there, brother. I couldn't even feel my way up through here. I couldn't feel it. I couldn't feel it. David said, I'll praise thee with my whole heart. He said, I'll go into the temple. Hallelujah. He said, I'll magnify thy word. Yes, sir. Above his name. He said, I'll magnify his word. Above his name. Praise God, the word to stand when everything else is done. God and God, it is stand. There's too many people who want to change the word of God to their standard. Here's for you, my son. I'd like to think of what it says over there in Proverbs 3. It says, Lean not on thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy pains. The Bible said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Ordered by the Lord. Bless you. Y'all get up every day and say, Lord, Lord, would you help me say what I need to say? You tell me to hush when I need to hush. Bless you, Lord. Sometimes I might say something I ought to say and I shouldn't say. And you know what just comes out, you can't take it back. That's right. You can't take it back. The Bible said thus the battle our tongue. Said it's an unmerly serpent and said no man can tame it. It's full of deadly poison. It's full of deadly poison. Ask God to help us. You know what? I like, I don't know what I should say this or not, but God said to say it. There ain't no super saints down here. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 We're all children of God. Amen. Saved by His grace. The Bible said that if you're here in the Lord, we humble ourselves before God. But he said in the scriptures that he said a proud. He said he was from far off. We ought to come humble before God. Humble before God. And take one step after another in the name of Jesus. One step at a time is all we can do. The Lord will give us strength and give us the words to say to what we need to say. In the name of Jesus. I remember one time. I remember one time when I was going up there to stay. I used to preach a lot on the CB radio. And a man was cussing me. God's name in vain. Cussing me. I had enough. I had enough. God had fired about quick for Virginia. He says, where are you at, preacher man? I said, I've just got on 81. Coming off 87. He said, we over here at the Flying J. Come stop. He said, I just want to show you how big your God is. I want to see how big He is. I'll never forget you, David. I'll never forget you. Never forget you. I pulled in the parking lot. And I said, Lord, you've always fought my battles, and I know you're not leaving me. And I know you will. And I pulled in that parking lot that they sat on the radio. He said, Where are you at now? I said, I'm pulling in the parking lot, Clyde J. And he said, You'll be there. 
He said, I'm parked over here at the fuel pump when we dump the fuel line. I said, I'll be right over there. And I pulled over about that. There was two men. One man, I'm just a short fat man. This man was way taller than I was. Big man. I told him, I said, you're on dangerous spring. <coughs> I said, it ain't nothing to me. I'm just a sinner saved by the grace of God. Amen. But I know there's something on the inside of me that's greater. Yeah. Greater yeah. than this world. Greater than the world, the flesh, and the devil. He said, greater he that's in you than he that's in the world. Man, I tell you that, yeah, it just used to burn me up to hear somebody bad mouthing y'all. I know the Bible said we ought to brighten our tongue, but I'll tell you when somebody bad mouths God. Oh, Jesus went to the cross of Calvary. Amen. Shed his precious blood for me. Praise God. Save my soul. Wrote my name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Praise God, I've got something to rejoice and shout about. Amen. And this other man that was with him, he says, have nothing to do with this man. That's what he said. Went and got in the cab of the truck. That big man was looking me right eye to eye. Still cussing. He said, I'm just going to show you. I want to just show you exactly what your God can do. I said, all right. Well, he pulled out his bag. Other Jerry and he swung. Yeah. He got about two inches from my nose. I let it spin. Stopped. Boy, oh, I can see the eye looks on that man's face. Praise God, he, he seen the invisible God that day. Praise God, it stopped his hand. And I wanted to say something to him square. I wanted to lead it to the Lord, Jack. The Bible said we debate the Spirit of God. Boy, I tell you, I don't know. He speaks to me, Brother David. He's my best friend. Lord, show up and send me to you. Hey, that man never said another word. He turned around. And I said, I'm praying for you. It's all God will let me stay. It's all God will let, let, let me stay. And I've prayed about that many a time. What do I know? That when that other man went to get the cab of the truck, he may have one time tell us to be gone. Tasted the good things of God. He was in there getting right with God. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you know, he could have led that man to the Lord. I don't know. God knows. God knows. That's all I've got tonight. I know we're just scattered out. But I know that I had to stand. I couldn't stand it. My heart was about to come out of my shoulders. <coughs> I've got to stand. And I apologize to the church that I should have stood more times than what I've had stood here. I apologize to you. Forgive me. I got the whooping. I got the whooping. I got the whooping and not standing. And I know Brother David knows it more than one time. Because if God tells me something, He's going to tell you something. And if we in one accord, Brother Josh, He'll tell you the same thing. I'll I, I talk to preachers on the telephone before. And they all have the same thing. I'll be sure, bro. All in the mind. All in the mind. 
Behind the plant, God knows his place in the wilderness. Praise God, we can have your Bible in the midst of the prayer. They may have trouble on one leg, the part of the left and to the right. You don't know what everybody's got problems. But we need to leave them problems alone. Jesus wants us to live our lives a joyful life. Leave it to Him. Leave it to Him. He says, if you got any burdens, just give them to me. I'll carry them. If the yoke is, yoke is too heavy, got more than you carry, he says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Boy, I tell you, you've got some burdens here tonight. I wouldn't leave here until I give them to Jesus. Praise God, give them to Jesus. I'm going to hush now. Whatever you need here tonight, God will give it to you. Amen. God will give it to you. God's not slack concerning His promises. Some man comes slackness. But it's all long suffering for us. Not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. Everyone has come to repentance. All will repent every day. Lord, if I've done anything to offend one of my brothers or sisters in Christ, or one of my, uh, one of my co-workers that I work with, that ain't even saved. God forgive me. You know, we can't even fellowship with God in, in the right of court if we got an all against one of our brothers or sisters. The Bible said we can't do it, Jerry. We can't do it. The Bible says we come up here at the altar. If we got it all against one of our brothers or sisters, we to leave that place. And we're going to go make it right with our brother or our sister. And then we come back to the altar. I praise God and God will hear our prayer. Amen. Amen. I love each and every one of you here tonight. I don't want nobody to leave here unsaved. And don't be God. I don't want no one to leave here burdened. Praise Boy, I'd like to be here all week. I'm going to sit back there. Bless you, bro. 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 About that time, he asked me if I'd sing a different one, and I sang it because it felt safe. That is what God wanted me to do. Go ahead, sister. Let me bless you. Jesus said it is expedient for me to go away, but I'll send you another comforter to guide you from day. So they tarry so at Jerusalem for power yeah. from on high. That same Spirit that they received within my heart of I can feel His Holy Spirit. Oh, 
That same spirit that raised Jesus up will take me home someday. Well, I can feel His Holy Spirit dwelling deep within. Well, sometimes it feels so gentle. That same spirit that raised Jesus up from death and the grave, it shall raise His whole body up and take me home someday. My brother Tommy was preaching tonight. The Lord said to ask you all a question. And I thought a lot about it and I thought, Lord, I ain't going to say nothing. These people are going to think I'm crazy. This is what God said. My brother Tommy was a preaching about David over there. And uh, I believe he minded the Spirit of God because I don't believe his feet touched when, until he got up here. It looked to me like he was floating through the crowd. <laughs> And I know Tommy, and you already know Tommy enough, he don't move unless God's on him. Been some good preaching, some good singing here tonight. That Holy Spirit, I thought about that Holy Spirit, and I thought, Lord, I ain't going to mention nothing. I ain't. The Lord said you ask him. Over in the Word of God, in the fifth chapter of the book of John, there was a pool at the sheep's market, and it's called the Pool of Bethesda. And the Bible said there's all kinds of problems that laid on the porch of that pool. Yeah. Infinite folk, halt, and main. But there's all trouble, every one of them. Amen. And some of them laid there for many years. Now I don't know whether you'll be honest with God or not. That's up to you. But this is what God said. The problems you have tonight, now this is what God said to me. The problems that we have tonight didn't just start tonight whenever you come into this church. Amen. It didn't just come to your mind and let you know that there was trouble in your life when you come in and sat down. Amen. You see, you carried that trouble from home. You've had that trouble for a while. Now this is what God said. But the Bible said in that Scripture that a certain season that God sent an angel down to trouble the water. Yeah. And I can almost see it, Brother Anthony, a stirring. And I can almost see the Spirit of God twirling in that pool of Bethesda. Amen. But this is what God said. And this is a question I'm going to answer. Sure, I'm going to ask you tonight. Go ahead. The Bible said the first one at the troubling of the water stepped into the pool of Bethesda was made whole. Oh my God. Now I want to know. If God's a stirring in this place tonight, and I felt Him all over me, before I ever sat down here tonight, God's been here. Amen. The Comforter's been here. Amen. The Spirit is here tonight. Amen. And I just wonder, amen, praise God, the troubles of life that you face, and whatever you've got carrying around, who would be the first one to lay it down whenever God begins to move? Come on, praise God. We want revival. God said who will start it right there is the one hey man who will be next there's another one I want you to listen to what's happening in the house of God tonight I believe that the spirit of God has come to help you to heal your life to touch your wounds Woo! can't you feel it child amen amen, amen. 
Somebody's been carrying something around for a long time. They was wanted to pull a Bethesda, brother Tommy, that had been there for 39 years, the Bible said. But you know what God said? Jesus told him, said, I know how long you've been in that case. You see, God understands your problems. You know what? He's been awaiting on brothers and sisters. He's been awaiting on you to come. Hey, so he can do something with it. God ain't going to jerk your problems out of your hands. He's going to wait for you to lay it down. Right here's two on the souls. Get what they need. You know what the one that would been there for 38 years said to Jesus? He had an excuse. Maybe you've got an excuse why things ain't where it ought to be in your life. The Bible said he told the Lord, he said it's a trouble in the water. Somebody gets in before me. Hey man, I have no man to put me in. That didn't make no difference to Jesus. Jesus don't care why you're there. He just wonders why you're staying there. Can I get an amen? It didn't matter how long he'd been there. For God knows how long he'd been in that case. All he wanted to know is, do you want out? He said, will thou be made whole? No excuses tonight. Amen. But God said to ask you, who wants to step in the water? Huh? Come on. They've been too honest. Who else will be honest? You've been carrying a burden around. Come on. Amen. You want revival? Here it is. You want to be touched by God? Here it is. Amen. If you read in Lamentations, amen, the Bible said, Brother Tommy, you began to read in that about the mercies of God. The Bible teaches us that there's new mercies every day. And he began to go on. He said we'd be consumed if it was not for God's mercies. Amen. But praise God, he said, great is thy faithfulness. Amen. Right here, some people being honest. Would it be somebody else who wanted revival? You want to be restored? in your heart the joy you want the joy back in your life you ain't gonna get it just sitting still praise God you gotta come and get what God wants for you you gotta come and get it God's got it away you gotta come now we're about to get it Woo! my God something's a stir you feel that hey, come on my God hallelujah why won't you be honest <laughs> These ain't the only ones. Maybe you're here tonight and you're lost without God. You need to be saved. You know what the Bible said? Whosoever will. Come and drink of the water of life freely if you want it, you have it. Come on. You know what the best part about God is? Even them old meanings and ungodly can be saved if they want it. Can I get an amen? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Praise God, they can all have it if they want it. If you want it, come and drink of it. Amen. The Bible said, Brother Bobby, amen. If we'll confess the Lord Jesus with our mouth and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, he said, Thou shalt be saved. Can I get it? Amen. The Bible said, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I believe somewhere you got to call out. Amen. I ain't come to preach. I ain't come not to. God said you tell them to Him and you ask them a question tonight. Amen. Amen. There's been all kinds of people here tonight. I've got confidence in. I've got confidence in these young ones. Amen. Praise God. Now listen to me. This brother's a praying. We need somebody to agree with you tonight. I trust God, amen, to come and pray with you. Now listen, these sisters are the praying. Amen, we need somebody that's got confidence in God. I don't believe in God for them. I can get them in. Can I get an amen? Now listen, pray to God, I'm about to fly. But God said to ask you a question. Amen, do you want it bad enough to get off of the bed of glitches and step into God's righteousness? Amen. Would you step into the Spirit of God. Come on now. My God, something's stirring. Somebody knows it. You had this problem for a while. It didn't just stick up on you. My God, God's told you time and time again. Amen. You can 
can come to the house of God and worship like Brother Tommy preached about because you've got someone carrying it around. God said, that's who wants your Bible. Who wants your Bible in your heart? I'm not talking about for this church and for everybody else. I'm talking about for you. Do you want it? Do you want to be close to God? What did God do for you? That sister right there swapping up here in this baby she's carrying right here. Some of you don't know us. You don't know anything about us. But this young mama right here, hey man, we've been to the graveyard several times, ain't we, mama? Baby, she didn't live. And she lost all hope ever having a child. Hey man, about to give it up. But I'm here to tell you, praise God, one Sunday morning on this old bike and all for Brother Brian. Thanks God he took it, amen. amen. And when it did, amen, she got up with a different look on her face. Amen. A different shine in her eyes. Amen. If you want to see a miracle of God, and the doctor said couldn't have it, sister, would you stand up and show the people the miracle of God? God said to ask you in there. Some of you people go to church and you know I'm the God told me to pick you on the head and pull you out. I'll look. He told me that. Come on, he just said to ask you. You see, it wouldn't do to me no good or you any either if I grabbed you and drug you. Go ahead, preacher. You got to come to yourself and got to want it. The Bible said that they that come must come believing that He is and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. You know what they believed when they got up off that porch, Brother Tommy? When they, hey, when they saw the Spirit of God moving in that water, you know what they believed? Hey Amen. They believed that when they touched that water, that everything's going to be alright. Hey Amen. Can you believe that tonight? Say, preacher, I don't know what to believe. Well, you tried everything else. My Lord, praise God. I, I tried something, amen, that's never failed. Hey, can I get an amen? It's never failed those that's trusted Him. I'm on hush. I'm on hush. That's what God said to ask you. He asked me who would be first. This brother right here was first. This sister was second. Some of the rest of you come and pray that was honest with God. But you know what I believe tonight? Now, I didn't come to make it easy on you. God didn't tell me to buy I ain't never made it easy on you, have I? Amen. Never, never have I'm back in my God, you better look out. Amen. <laughs> you ain't got it because you're waiting on God to dump it in your life. Well, hey, come on. Amen. Hey, Amen. You ain't got it because you've always made excuses why you can't come. Make excuses why you ain't God. God set a table tonight. So it's been an odd me. Yes, it has. You know what I won't be doing? I'd like to see God put the top off this thing. <laughs> So you're crazy as a bed bug. I'd like to see it come through here so good to and it blow everybody right out the floor. Yeah. Hey man, I'd like to see you a little hole and say, I ain't coming back if you're going to talk like that. It don't matter to me. You see, I'm coming to have church with or without you. You see, everybody wants to have church, but they want to have it with everybody else. But you know what God said? He set me a table yeah. in the midst of my enemies yeah. that I can say it, not saying you're my enemies, but I'm saying in this world that we live in, God put me a table that I can slide up to and eat the goodness of God. Yeah. Oh, praise God. If you're hungry, if you're thirsty, I wouldn't leave without it tonight. If you've got a burden, if you've got a need, if you've got something that's tormenting you, you need to lay her down. Amen. 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 
Lord in heaven, I want you to listen. Why'd you pick me? I want you to listen tonight. Why you love me? I just can't understand. I want you to listen. When I see others, come on, my God, look at. I come pray this song. Oh, come on. I want you to listen tonight. Sometimes it's hard. You see, he knows how hard it is. Sometimes it's hard. When I stumble, he understands, child. Now listen. Fix me up. I'm soft. I see Come on. Well, I'm nobody special. I'm no ruler or king. Come on. This world doesn't know who I am. Come on, you listen. Come on, Jesus. Come on. Sometimes we just need to push. I preached a message in this church one Sunday morning about God having a hold of this thing. <laughs> it's just like trying to learn to ride a bicycle. Amen. Amen. You put your kids on a bicycle and take the training wheels off and you hold on to it and they'll say, Daddy, hold on to me. Now don't turn me loose. Yeah, and you say, I promise I won't turn you loose. And then when they get the paddling, they're pretty good. They have it going pretty straight. You know what Daddy does? He turns them loose to see if they can do it on their own. I believe that's the way God is. God's got you on this thing. He said, go ahead and paddle, praise you. I got it, amen. Hey, amen. We're still afraid. But whenever God turns us loose, sometimes we'll wreck this thing, amen. But you know what he does? God always picks you up, puts you back on it. Let's have a try one more time. Because I still got you. I got you tonight. I got you tonight. I got it, Mitch. Lord said, I got this child. Don't be afraid. I got a hold of this thing. Just go ahead and pedal. Go ahead and pedal. I got it. Did you skin your knee up here? Hey, come on. My God, can't you feel it?
Trust in God. God said, I know what you have need of before you even ask. He said, just thank you. Praise God, sister. He said, all them that ask for see. I'm glad you don't pull us away. My God, come on, church. Why can't you have me? Come on. Come on, do you believe that? My God said it. It's yours. God said, I got this. I got this. Just get on and ride. I got a hold of you. BJ, it ain't so easy when you first start out, is it? Amen. But ain't you glad that he keeps putting you back on and saying, try again. Just try again. I got it. Just try again. Amen. Just keep trying. You'll get it one of these days. Just keep trying. Keep trying. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Voice of an almighty God. Father, this baby calls on your name. Lord, sister, he loves you. You know he loves you. You felt him. God, so many times. God, he's touched you so many times. He's reached down tonight. And he touched your heart. He loved you so much. And I praise God, he stirred the water just for you. Oh, my God, thank you. <laughs> Don't it feel good to touch a throne of a God? Yeah, go on and let him bless you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Church, don't it feel good? I believe God can give it to you. 
I'm going to hush you. My dog, what I'm supposed to do. And if you ain't got it, it ain't my fault. Because God said to ask you if you want it. Amen. If you want it, you can have it. But if you don't want it, God ain't going to force it on you. I thank God for everybody that's moved tonight. Everybody that come to the altar. BJ, I thank God for what God's doing in our life. You feel like you've been to church? I feel like I've been in revival, brother. Amen. Say, preacher, you're one of them begging preachers that calls up. You know what's the matter in the world today? People don't give people an opportunity. Amen. I preached on the, on the radio station in Mountain City for five years, and every Sunday morning I would give an altar call. Go ahead, brother. And some of them told me, even even one of the workers out at the radio station told me, said, people can't see you. Amen. I said, who cares? Right. Amen, brother. It ain't me I want them to see. It's God. And I said, if they'll come to the Lord in their living room, it's just as good, amen, as it would have been in the church house. Amen. God the same amen. 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 And the radio station filled up kids. You remember that Sunday when that got saved in the lobby? Lord, what a man we had. Oh, brother Bob White. Radio announcer. He was supposed to put the other preacher on. I got a out in the front having a church. I came out there in the aisle, in the aisle was shouting with us, people getting saved. We forgot about the last person. Amen. We just went ahead and had church. And finally, he just come out and helped us. Amen. You see, that's what God can do. God can save them in the living room. All they need to hear is the truth. Amen. The Word of God. Amen. Thank you, Brother Tommy, for minding the Spirit of God. Thank you, people, for listening to the voice of God. Thank you, sister. Thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. I, I'm excited. I don't know what's fixing to happen. Well, let me tell you something tonight. If you're still carrying that burden you brought into this church tonight, it's just going to weight you down. It's going to weight you down because I'm going to tell you what. I thought about this. God spoke to my heart some while back and He said to start revival the first day of January. And I thought, Lord, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I even argued with God. I said, Lord, it's in January. It'll be cold. There'll be snow on the ground and nobody will come. <laughs> Boy, ain't the devil a lot. <laughs> and then the other Sunday when Brother Anthony's boy got saved, amen, God said, I told you to start revival. It's for somebody. Did you know that? <laughs> I thought about every revival that we've ever been in, me and, me and Dennis and all of us. See, I remember when Dennis got saved. I know I don't look that old, but praise God, Brian, I am. I remember when he got saved. I remember when a lot of them got saved. I remember the revival that Tony ever got right with God. Amen. Remember it just like it was yesterday. Walked in, he's in the back pew, in the back row, he sat next to the door, and I believe he was in next to the door so he could run. Amen. Am I telling the truth? Amen. And God told me we'd have that revival before they ever asked for us to have revival. Do you think I'm crazy? God sent this revival. Hey, that baby right back there. God sent this revival for this little sister right here. God sent it for you. Amen. God sent it for you. He sent it for all the people. Amen. He sent it for you, Nathan. Amen. You know what you're going to need tomorrow, what you get tonight. Right. Amen. Amen, brother. I know we sing this the best when you come over here, but I'd like to hear this song sing one more song. Well, Jerry likes this song. And on my heart ever since you come in, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? No matter what the doctor says, I don't know the word, I don't know the name of the song. Yeah, walk on is that Thank you, Rosie. If you will, because she sang that song.
forward quick tonight. I, I don't know. I, I still feel like there's somebody tonight. I know it's crowded, and I know, praise God, it's hard to get around, but I'm here to tell you, those who make their way up here, it's pretty good, don't it? Amen. I thank God for Brother Tommy Nitty. That'd be a long time. Thank God for all these questions for everybody's here. But I want you to listen tonight, and if you've still got a burden, why don't you leave it to Jesus tonight? Why don't you leave it to Him? What more would it take to get you to move? You know what I believe tonight? I, don't, I, I believe, Sister Penny, that even before everybody got here tonight, and man, listen to me, not only that you've been carrying this thing around for some time, but I believe this is not the only time God spoke to your heart. I believe He's dealt with you before. I said, preacher, you're crazy. He dealt with me for a long time before I give my life to Jesus. Amen. And he still set up a revival for me. You see, he put this thing together for us. God knew we'd be here. He knows I'd be at Pleasant Chapel Church tonight in 2018. Whenever they run me off. Huh? When my heart was broken, my girls cried. Amen. But it's the saddest time in my life in the church I faced to turn against me for the Word of God. Mm-hmm. Hardest time I've ever faced. Mm-hmm. You know what I see now, sister? I see God move and put me in His place. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, brother. See, I'm not sad anymore. I know why I'm here. Go ahead, youngins, and sing. And if you want to come to the Lord tonight, play some more. Uh, Listen. Let's have- 
<laughs> now what are you going to do with it? Hey, hey. God, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> you know, all God's been waiting on us for you to ask. I believe He's been waiting on you to come. He's been calling your name time and time and time again. And you know why? Because God it all. He's got all you need. All He's wanting you to do is ask. Come and ask in the name of Jesus. Praise God in the name of Jesus. Lord, sister, in the name of Jesus. God said it was yours all heaven. It's yours tonight. Everything you need, God said He could supply every need according to His riches and glory. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, as this child cries out, God, on your name, I ask you, Father, flood her soul, Lord, in the name of Jesus. There it is, sister. Praise God, you give it to Him the moment you lay it down. So here it is, Lord. I can't carry it no more. I can't carry it no more, Jesus. You've got to take it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Praise God, it's over. <laughs> there it is. In the name of Jesus. God, the victory is sweet in the name of Jesus. Just leave it with Him, sister. He said, I can take it. He's got it. You believe that tonight? He's got it. He loves you so much in the name of Jesus. I call the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> you give it to me. Yeah. Have a bit of it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 
Come on. Feel like you're out of place. Come on. Come on. Come on. While these youngins are calling out, why don't you come on, my God? Whew. Come on, my God, in the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on, Mom. Come on. My God, even the children can hear the voice of God. Surely you can. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Why would you wait another day? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on tonight. The preacher ain't never seen nothing like this. Come on. Are you hungry? How long's it been? Come on. Don't you let the devil steal nothing from you. Come on. Come on. Praise God in the name of Jesus. Can't you feel it, church? Come on. Somebody pray with this sister. My God, can't you feel it, church? Ah, good. Yeah. Amen. Amen. This is what it's all about. Amen. 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 God, can't you feel it, church? Maybe you ought to just grab a hold of somebody and hug them and tell them you love them. Amen. Amen. You know what I believe for 
for witnessing. Yeah. You know what I believe for witnessing? Revival. Hey. Jesus. You know, everybody's got a different idea of what revival is. Where'd Brother Jerry go? <laughs> I'm going to put him on the spot again tonight. I want you to listen. God told me to have him to read this. And every time I started asking, God said, wait just a minute. You think you ain't a witness in revival tonight? I want you to listen to what the definition of revival is. Are you ready? Go ahead, Brother Jerry. It means to restore to consciousness or life. Yeah. To restore from a depressed, inactive, or unused state. Amen. And to renew in the mind or memory. Amen. 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 Are you renewed? Amen. Are you restored? Amen. Can you feel God? Amen. I came in charge. Amen. I believe I'm a praise God. We pray for revival. You know what comes? Amen. Sister, what comes for you? Revival was. Amen. Come for you, Sheila. Revival. You know what comes for these boys? Revival. Amen. Come on. Hey. Bless your heart. You know what I believe? I, I believe not only. I don't believe you ought to hold this up. I believe we're going to send her down the road. Amen. Somebody else down yonder needs revival, Brother Charlie. These sisters are standing in for somebody. Needs revival. They need a touch. You believe that, brother? Sister, you believe that tonight? You believe that? In the name of Jesus, let's send her some revival. God, tonight, in the name of Jesus, we trust your name, God, and plead the blood. For the sister, Lord, I pray for every sister. What's going on, Lord? We know you know all things, Lord. You're in control of everything. Let her build revival Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey, 
Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. Thank you, Jesus. I'm all about you, but I feel like I've been revived. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. You know what our people need? Yes. They've been saved and they spent the power of God and they've went astray and they backslid on God. You know what they need? They need to taste what we're eating today. Amen. Amen. This brother asked us to pray, Brother Nate. And he could get a hold and feel what we can feel tonight. Amen. And he get hungry. Amen. For the things of God. Now, does anybody believe with us tonight? Amen. You believe tonight to the place that you believe. Amen. When we want this brother, the Holy Ghost is going to go down this path and search out this young man. Amen. You believe that, Jim? Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. He said, according to your blood. Can you see that holy covenant? Can you feel it? Searching him out. Now in the name of Jesus. There he is. He said, according to your blood. In the name of Jesus. Follow me. Thank you, 
on March 2nd. Ever since I got down and prayed, I tried my best to just give it. And I'm like, I'm ashamed to even ask this church to pray. And I'm ashamed to ask the Lord. And I feel like for a long time that I can't pray, I can't talk to the Lord. It's just like He's just at a distance. I can't help but feel that He's just angry. And but the church I know I know of as but still it seems like the same thing over and over and over and over again I know it's always it seems like it's always the same stuff but I just as just please pray for me because I need I just can't I don't want to go a day longer I'm going to ask this church a question. This brother don't want to go no farther. It's a shame to ask us to pray. I'd like to know how many. Would you stand up if you'll come and help us pray with me? I want you to look around. The devil tells you these people, they man's against you, but they love you. Also, come on and let's give this thing to Jesus. Everybody in this church is going to pray with you tonight. Right here in the name of Jesus. Yes. My God, in the name of hey, Jesus. Man. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you, Father, on the behalf of Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray, Lord, that you touch him. Lord Jesus, God, in the name of God, in the name of Jesus. Father, restore his mind. Father, I pray, Lord, that you just reset it, Lord. Let him forget about all those things he done. God, Lord, you say he's unworthy soul. Father, I pray, Lord, that you allow the Lord one more time. Believe it at the cross tonight, God. Glory, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Jesus, Jesus. Glory, You trust him, brother. Don't trust yourself. You trust God. Father, in the name of Jesus, because we're all failable. But God will never fail you. In the name of Jesus, put in his hands tonight. In the name of Jesus. God help him all call one more day. Yes, Lord. Amen. Here. Oh, I love it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Hey, man, you bless him. You see, that's all God's waiting on somebody that don't want to carry it no more. Don't want to deal with it no more. You can give it to God and leave it alone. Hey, man. I believe you can leave it here. Hey, Amen. Amen. You know, I left several years of alcoholism laying at the altar that night. When I got up, I never had to have it anymore. Amen. I said, Preacher, you've lost your mind. Well, I may have, but I've got something tonight that's got the proof in it. Amen. I love, I love the Lord tonight. I love you. Um, I appreciate the honesty. I appreciate Brother Nathan. I appreciate the family. You see, I don't believe this is going to end. I believe God's going to use you. I believe you is, sister. You see, I don't know why the devil's fighting so hard. God's got a place for you. Amen. 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 So you're crazy? No. Nah. Just leave me alone. I'll be crazy. Just leave me alone. I love this boy. I watched him grow up. Amen. I ain't going to tell you how old I am, but I... I've known him and his sisters ever since he's in diapers. <laughs> known them all their life. Amen. Been around a little while. Oh, God's good in the day. All the time. God's good. I'm going to hug. I think we ought to get us a song.
I know it's crowded, but praise God, sort of goodness, you can reach around and grab somebody. <laughs> Amen. And I'd like to thank you for coming. I'd like to thank you for being on.